Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas, and this is where I'm at with the big satellite dish. It took me a while to do because the actuator arm was stuck, which I'm gonna be showing you in a little bit. I lined this with part A and part B material and also acrylic material. The part A and part B, actually, the part A sticks very well to this. It has been there for three months. It's been in the rain, uh, hasn't been in the snow. It's been in the rain, it's been in uh, high humidity. We've had some wind and it sticks. It actually sticks even though it's exposed back there. Works fine. And then I put the part B on top of it. Reason that I took so long lining this dish, you can see I actually use scrap acrylic instead of using fresh cut pieces. Long story with getting pieces for this, I'll explain in a future video, but the actuator arm was stuck here. If you ever have problems with these, rarely do the motors go bad. It's usually the worm gears rusted together and these two are stuck together. Reason I'm showing you this video is that a lot of people still ask me the same question. Isn't it dangerous to have one of these in your yard and possibly blind a pilot or shoot a plane out of the sky? No, you can do neither with one of these. The focal point on this dish is about eight inches across. It concentrates to right here and you can see that wood's already on fire. This is a lot larger than the focal point on a Fresnel lens. Even if it was a tight focal point with a parabolic dish, the only way that you can really have blinding sunlight is to be right here. So if a pilot is six feet from my satellite dish, the dish itself is gonna be the least of his worries. Out here, if you look, the light scatters and scatters and scatters, and at 10 feet, it's there. And at about 15 feet, it's there and then off to our bath box up here, which is about 30 feet away, there's virtually no light going on it from the satellite dish. It's very diffused. If you look, this is all the light that's putting out at about 35 feet to the tree over there. A pilot in the air at 30 feet away would see this. That's, he might catch the glimpse of one panel here and there. Nothing, a building window is a lot more blinding than that. The reason for that is that a parabolic dish Fresnel lens, they all work the same. They concentrate sunlight to a point. They do not amplify it, they concentrate it. When it reaches that small point, after that, it goes and spreads into infinity. At 30 feet, this is spreading the light over a 100 foot area. So it's reflecting it over a 100 foot area. At 100 feet, where a very low plane would be, that would be extremely low, it would be covering about a thousand foot radius. So you're taking 10 foot of light and dispersing it over a thousand foot area. They're never gonna see you. That's why SOS kits ha do not have parabolic mirrors. They use flat mirrors like this one. Now, if I take this flat mirror, it is a 180th the surface area of this dish and I turn it around and I shine it at the bat box or shine it at whatever I want, it is sending the light in a, a direction. So that is why flat mirrors are used for signaling planes. If I were to point this at a plane, which I'd, I don't recommend you do, by the way, a small flat mirror like this is much more blinding to a pilot. Flat windows on buildings, much more blinding to a pilot than a parabolic dish. This size, smaller, bigger, they're, they're not blinding at all. The pilot has to be at the focal point. Six feet, pilot's not gonna be six feet from your dish. So I hope that clears that up once and for all. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.